So here we go, Volvo's most cheapest electric vehicle and South Africa's second most cheapest electric vehicle. This is the Volvo EX30. I have here starting from 775,000 Rand up until 995,000 Rand and that'll be for this model. Before I go on though, please head over to cars.coza, check out their website for any new or used Volvos or whatever really and let me know what you guys would get. But getting back into the Volvos, I think this car is really really exciting let me tell you guys all you need to know welcome back to yet another youtube channel so the volvo ex30 was introduced to shake up the ev industry and it's done just that all over the world really whether you're in europe whatever and i mean we are blessed and actually receive these models 150 of you guys ordered this car and 50 percent of those 150 orders were for this model this range topping ex30 ultra which is the dual motor. I am so impressed. This car starts at 775,000 Rand, goes up until 995,000 Rand for this exact model. Now, listen, I cannot believe the week that I've just had in it. I'm blessed to have been one of the first few people to sample this EX30. I'm going to take you guys through everything, the exterior, what I think about it, the interior. We're going to go for a drive, but I do think that Volvo has done such a stellar job for what is considered and budget entry level car i think this thing is going to be a hit on all roads in the world let me take you around and then i'll dive deeper into everything it's nothing like your typical volvo but there are some cues that still makes it you know the typical speed at the front you've got this diagonal volvo badge with the integrated camera on it there's a lot of safety systems on here and that camera is beautiful very clear and concise Obviously, a closed off grill because we've got nothing in there. We just have a front, I'll show you guys the front later on. This Thor Hammer headlights, obviously, what would Volvo be without the Thor Hammer headlights? I think those are gorgeous. You then get air vents on here, which are actually functional. They do fit in air onto these massive 20 inch wheels. They ride incredible for these 20 inches. Volvo has done an amazing, amazing job in terms of the wheel choices that they have. You do get this one, you get also other options, which I think, you know, are beautiful, but I, I would still go this aerodynamic wheel. You come across the side, then you've got this black mirror housing with an integrated LED in indicator lamp in it. I think that is quite cool. Obviously keyless entry on this model, a black roof. This is a glass roof actually, and I do think it's, it's gorgeous, especially that inside has to be the highlight of this car and gee whiz they've done such an amazing job i think overall it's such a great car the other thing that i want to give away is that they've taken out the center cap with the logo and it's now on the actual alloy i think this is this is brilliant for all you guys who steal the center caps you can't do it anymore sorry but on both pillars the ex30 guys i am impressed with this car it's been an amazing week so far and obviously i just have to show you guys the place that we charge and, and that's that let me turn it around for you guys show you the rear before i give you a full in-depth tour of the inside but i do think that on the exterior it's a great great affair for a fact that volvo has put in so many recycle recyclable materials into this car from the sheets that are the exterior to literally the battery to the interior that's just great literally living green so yeah let's jump inside coming to the rear you get c40 inspired taillights so you get this beautiful c-shaped brake lights as well as the one that goes all, all up into the pillar and i think this looks gorgeous what what they did on the c40 sure but i do feel like those type of leds that do feel a little cheap this is just sleeker and much more beautiful you even get a illuminated volvo badge on here the most amazing thing at this rear right besides the volvo lettering is the press the fact that you just press right there and then the boot opens and you're met with over 300 liters of boot space and i think that they're doing such an amazing job i haven't i haven't unboxed my charging cables and that's because with this car you've got over 480 kilometers of range according to the wltp but I've done about 400 Ks and I still have about 80 Ks of range. So that is realistic. 
range. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that when I go for a drive. But let me take you guys inside and I'll tell you more about the interior because I do think that that's where the great, great features lie. Although it's got flaws, I do think that they've done an amazing job with that interior. Let's get inside before we go for a drive and I'll show you how quick it can go from 0 to 100. So jumping inside the interior of the Volvo C40, which is an all eco-friendly interior i think that it's such an amazing interior nothing in here screams this is a budget volvo to be honest or an entry-level volvo it's such an exqui exquisite place such an exquisite place and i think let me take you guys through through it although it's got so many flaws well not a lot but it's got quite a few flaws and i think that i'd like to address that more so the interior is centralized essentially so everything is just designed around the center and i think that it's it's a great thing that they've done that however there are some flaws right so because it's centralized you get this 12.3 inch infotainment and this essentially powers the entire car literally everything and every control that you do in this car is right on here and i think that that is where the issue is for a car that's so focused on safety and that's known for safety such as volvo the fact that you've got everything on here for me bothers me so much i literally have to the speedometer to start off with is right on here it's not as large enough for me personally i do think that the map and everything else does take a lot of space whereas if there was an option for you to extend and decrease this area for your for your speedometer then that would be cool you see all your range and all your kilowatt hour that you're doing per, um, per kilometer, per 100 kilometers. You've got obviously your PR and D for you to see what gear you're in. But I do think that it's such, they shouldn't have done that. I mean, everything is on here. So your aircon controls, your emergency lights, all these things are on here. But the font is quite low. It is in a gray, but the big home, but a home icon is in black right and then you can open your trunk also from here your glove box you can open from that button which is quite cool that you don't have to dig deep it's right in there but everything for me the fact that it's in here and also it does take some getting used to when you're driving for you to essentially look at the speedometer because you're used to having it right in front of you whereas right now they've got a driver monitoring system on here which detects if you're on your phone or you're just not paying attention and it will beep but I do think that overall, it's such a great interior. There is space for days in this car. A lot of space. I mean, gee whiz, you've got a retractable cup holder thingy on here, literally, which is, I think, quite beautiful. And then you've got your con control buttons on here, your window control buttons on here. But it's like so weird because it take, there's so much space on the door. You'd why, ask yourself, why would they put them here instead of right here? But I think it's little things that I, as Kumbi, am just complaining about. You have other storage down here. Um, you've got two phone stands on here, but only one is wireless charging. And because this car is obviously built in Europe or whatever, and it's left and drive, the wireless charger is on the left. And, I mean, it's those little things that I pick up as an OCD person. Got a massive glass roof on here, which is beautiful. Everything is it's, it's, it's really dope. Um, the nice thing that I want to take out in this car is that there is this soundbar which literally goes across the entire dash. It's got over 1,300 watts and it sounds incredible. And I think that Volvo has always been ahead of the game in terms of sound. I mean, when I drove the Volvo XC90, I was impressed with that Bowers and Wilkins. Now in here, this soundbar, which is a Hammond Cardon, is just as great and it's only found in this range topping model. Um, the materials in here, like I mentioned earlier, these are all made from recyclable jeans or whatever things that you guys throw away and they feel great. The materials in here feel greater than some of the Germans who actually still use leather and all that stuff. So that is quite cool. You use your steering wheel a lot. So literally like right now, if I want to switch on my lights, I'll go into car settings and I'll go into the lights. And if I want them to, to, to have my rear fog light on, I'll click that. And if I want to remove from auto to manual, I'll click that. And then I must still use the OK button on here to confirm that that's what I want. So you use your steering wheel, you use it quite a lot. And I, I do see what they're trying to do. I do think that for a company that's Volvo and that's so focused on, you know, safety, the fact that you have to take off your eyes and, you know, watch something else for me, that is a bit, yeah. But I mean, people will get used to it. I'll jump into the rear now for you guys. Uh, before I do that, you've got four USB ports in this car and two in the front and two in the rear. And I think that 
there is no lacking of charging. <laughs> there is no lack of charging in this car. But yeah, a lot of space, a lot of space. But I'm like, why did you guys put these things here? Just put it on the door. Like, please. Anyway, let me jump in the rain. I'll show you how I sit. I don't like the fact that you have to slightly tilt your head for you to look at the speedometer. And I do think that this section is quite small, especially for such important information such as speedometer and looking at other cars which are in other lanes, etc. And this car has so much safety features, guys. A lot of safety features in this car. Gee whiz, uh, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring. So much packed into a car that's coming in at 995,000 rand, especially for this model. And I think that they've done an exceptional job. You've got this driver monitoring system on here. What it does is that if I do look away, I'll slightly look away now because we're in a safe zone. If I look away for quite a while, well, it should do this. Well, it's not doing it for some reason, but if I tend to block it, then it will say that the driver system is blocked. There we go. The driver monitoring camera blocked, removed obstruction. So you can't run away from it. When you're on your phone, it will literally do the same thing. So I do think that in terms of safety, they've really, really nailed it. There's so many other safety features in this car. And yeah, this 69 kilowatt hour battery and the dual motors are insane. Those batteries, um, the batteries that are in here are uh, much more, you know, fancier than the lithium ion batteries it's not the lithium ion battery that's only found in the 51 kilowatt hour uh, batteries in the entry level range otherwise though it does drive beautiful the steering wheel is light but there is a lot of confidence inspiring in here this car will go from 0 to 100 in 3.6 seconds so like i said faster than a ferrari 360 faster than a lamborghini urus gee whiz man it's such a great drive and in terms of range you get up to 480 kilometers in this car i do mention the fact that i've been doing i haven't charged this car since it came hence the cables are still in their box i've never charged it uh, because it arrived here on 400 kilo 400 odd kilometers and i'm currently left with 125 kilometers i'll probably have to charge it today before they pick it up tomorrow but gee whiz i am hoping that i see a lot of this on the roads because for an entry-level electric car, this triumphs the BYD Eto, this triumphs the GWM Aura, and because obviously it's a Volvo, that nomenclature is so worth, you know, a lot. There's a lot of history behind um, this, the Swedes, so I do hope that you guys get it. Before I go though, I don't want to leave you with one. Please take it easy. Thank you for subscribing. We are currently doing an exclusive drive. So this is all because of you guys and I appreciate you guys for everything that you've done. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. We've got another exclusive coming up soon. So yeah, let's get it. Whee! Oof. Oh. Oh my word, that is oh. <laughs> Peace guys.